The global energy sector is transforming, which presents a huge opportunity for New South Wales. Renewables are now the cheapest form of new generation and technology is now available to back them up with storage such as batteries. New South Wales has world-class renewable energy resources like solar and wind, a skilled workforce and world-leading industry capabilities and technology. At the same time, we need to replace the electricity supplied from the coal-fired power stations that are scheduled to close over the next 10 years. These plants currently supply most of our annual electricity generation in New South Wales. That's why the New South Wales Government has introduced the Electricity Infrastructure Roadmap. The Roadmap will modernise our electricity system and deliver more affordable, clean and reliable energy for everyone in the state. The Roadmap will deliver at least five renewable energy zones across New South Wales. The renewable energy zones will come online as our ageing coal-fired power stations retire. The Central West Orana and New England Renewable Energy Zones will support 14 gigawatts of transmission capacity. Network capacity will continue to increase as further renewable energy zones are developed. The Energy Corporation of New South Wales, or Energy Co, plans and coordinates the development of the renewable energy zones while working closely with local communities. AEMO Services, as the consumer trustee, plans, assesses and guides long-term investment in generation and storage infrastructure. First Nations guidelines build on existing consultation and engagement requirements in New South Wales to support income and employment opportunities for local Aboriginal communities. An Electricity Infrastructure Jobs Advocate and New South Wales Renewable Energy Sector Board will ensure the use of local workers and locally made goods. The roadmap is expected to inject $32 billion in investment across regional New South Wales, as well as support 6,300 construction jobs and 2,800 ongoing jobs by 2030. It will also enable us to reduce New South Wales emissions, helping to achieve our net zero ambitions.